Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Well, it is wedding season again, and as you may know, I, my favorite wedding gift is a ring holder. It's a small tenon in the middle with a taper on it, so it will fit almost any size ring. It have to be really, really small to not fit. But essentially, it is just two projects, a simple shallow bowl, however, make the groove more on the outside so that things comb away from the center and then a spindle in the middle that the main ring can be put on other things here in the tray. I made two of them. I've got two, uh, that's only a down payment on the weddings coming up this season so I better get busy and make some more but for now let's make these two. The last set of wedding ring holders I made from olive wood which has a very dramatic grain. This time I chose zebra wood which also has a very dramatic grain figure. I purchased some 8-4 wood, 6 inches wide and 2 inches thick. For this ring holder, I cut off 4.5 inches, then cut off a 1.5 inch side for the center spindle, leaving 4.5 inch square for the bottom tray. Since it already has parallel sides, I'm pressing the wood against the closed chuck jaws with live center pressure. This is not a great hold, but should be sufficient while I rough it round and cut a tenon that will be much more secure. Since I like to finish off the tendon with my skew, the square of the skew's shaft also does a great job ensuring the base is flat for the jaws to seat on. Now with the wood flipped over with the top to the right and tightly secure in the chuck, I can use my gouge to shape the bottom. I like a 3 quarter inch mortise hole. It is sturdy and also big enough for my small chuck. I'm drilling it with a Forstner bit. As I hollow the interior, I encounter one risk of this style bowl. While cutting from the center out, I let the left wing of the gouge catch the outer wall, resulting in a bad catch. After reseating the wood, I continued with the gouge to cut out the hole from the catch. Then I switched to a round nose scraper to finish off the top interior surface. Then just a little more to refine the bottom side. After sanding, I apply shellac friction polish to the upper and outer bottom. Then rub it down at high speed. No other buffing will be required. I like the shellac since when I finish the bottom, I can blend new finish into the previous finish very easily. For the bottom side, I pull out my small chuck that I use on my small lathe. It has a 1x8 spindle, so I have to use an adapter to mount it to this lathe. But since it can expand into a 3 quarter inch hole, it is perfect for this application. Otherwise, I would use a jam tenon to hold it. However, this is more secure for a small bowl. After sanding again through all the grits, it is time for more shellac finish. Here is where I have to blend it back to the previous finish. That finishes the base. Now for the spindle. This is the 1.5 by 4.5 offcut from the raw wood mounted between centers. After roughing it round with a bowl gouge, then focus on the tenon that will connect the spindle to the base. My preferred tool is now my skew. Then on to shaping the tenon with a thick base and a thin top. Somewhere, the tenon will fit nicely for a wedding ring of, at present, unknown size. One strange thing on the saber wood is what appears to be a crack. However, the wood is solid. I treat it with thin CA for insurance.
Then flip it around to finish the tip before sanding the spindle. Then again, apply shellac friction polish and rub it out. This completes my favorite wedding gift. I do hope the respective brides will enjoy them to keep their rings in an obvious and safe place. It is unique and more personal than something from a registry. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. Please wear your full face shield. That's for safety anytime the lathe is running. I'll see you next week with another wood turning video. Take time to count your blessings.